Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will show you how you can run and use Chatrain in CLI mode or command line interface mode on a Windows computer because some of you are having problems using the GUI version. So I thought I would make a video on it to help you all. So in this video, we will jailbreak iOS 14.7.1 but you can use this tutorial to jailbreak any version that is supported by Jack Rain. All right. So first of all, you have to open this website. You will find the website's link in the description. Then click the latest release. Scrolling down, you will find this Jack N1X ISO file. Download this file to your computer like I did here. To flash this file, you will need Blanacher. Download a copy for Windows here. Now just right click Blanacher and run it as an administrator. So guys, when this app is open, attach a USB flash drive. Even a 512 MB flash drive is enough for this process or a memory card. All right. So now just click select image. Select the image that you have downloaded in the previous step. Click on open and click this flash button here. So the flashing process will start and it will take about 10 seconds and it is done. And you will see flash complete here. If you see a message that your USB needs formatting, please cancel it. Okay. Now close everything out and now restart the computer and follow the next steps. So my dear fellows, just reboot the computer and go to the boot option menu by pressing F9 or F12 key and you will find your boot devices here. One is your hard disk and other is the USB flash drive that we have created in step one. The secure boot must be off in BIOS and now just hit enter on the USB flash drive. You will see some loading here. All right, and then you will see this menu and you'll find that we have check in CLI mode here. It is on Alt F3. Now press Alt F3 to run the CLI mode and if it is not working for you, Press the FN key, then ALT and then F3. So ALT, F3, and you will see this message to press enter and run check in in CLI mode. Now hit enter and you will see that it is now waiting for DFU devices. Now I want to show you the version first. So my device is an iPhone SE and it is on 14.7.1. All right, you can see it now. So all right, now we will put the device into DFU mode manually. For iPhone 7, 8, and 10, you have to press and hold the side button and volume down button for 10 seconds, and then let go of the side button and keep holding the volume down button for another eight seconds. So I am using an iPhone SE. So now I will connect it via USB. Okay, so it is connected. Now, if you see this message that is connection refused, please don't worry. You will see the trust message on the device. I want to show you. All right. So just click trust here. All right. It is very much required. Now we will enter DFU mode manually. Just press and hold the power button and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds. I will count. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten leave the power button and keep holding the home button and you will see that the jailbreaking process has started so it will take about 20 seconds Just wait here until the process is complete. All right, so 
we can see that we will have check in here if you see this trust message again trust it again okay so you can see no errors no nothing and the check in loader is here we can open it and we can install cdr now it is downloading the base system So this will also fix your USB MUXD error if you are having this error. Okay, so now it is downloading the CDA, installing CDA. Okay, so here it is. Now you can see the version 14.7.1. All right, so no errors whatsoever. All right, so everything is working perfectly. All right, so guys, if you are having problems, you can use this method. If you have any questions regarding this method, you can always ask me in the comments and I will reply you as soon. I will see you in another video. Thank you guys for watching this video until the end. Goodbye.